Hi everybody, Jack here from Solar Surge at the RE Plus convention in Las Vegas. And here today I'm joined with Shankar, the Chief Technology Officer over at REC. Shankar, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you, nice to meet you. And what we have today behind us is the REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt module. Shankar, what can you tell us about this module and, and what do we have behind us today? So this is our latest offering to the residential market. Uh, this is a panel that reaches 470 watts, which is a efficiency of 22.6% or a power density of 226 watts per square meter. As you can see, it's an all black product. It's based on the largest wafers uh, available in the solar industry called G12. Now the thing about wafer size is the larger the wafer size, the larger the current that it produces. So, Depending on the interconnection, you can actually get currents of up to 18 amperes, which is not really preferred in the residential market. So we have come up with a very innovative way of interconnecting the cells so that the current, as you can see, is dropping down to 9 amperes. Uh, the way we've done this is that we've cut the G12 wafers into half, made them into heterojunction cells, and then we've interconnected them in series in a gapless format to keep the module size as small as possible. So even though we are using the largest wafer in the industry, the size of the panel is just a shade over two square meters. And now Shankar, you know, with this model in specific, you know, this is a 470 watt module and for a large time we've mainly been reviewing modules anywhere from 350 watts to maybe upwards of 420. What might the benefit be for a homeowner to go with a module this large at size with 470 watts, maybe as opposed to a smaller, a smaller wattage module on the market? So when it comes to a residential application, obviously area matters. There's a limited amount of area, so you want to get the highest possible efficiency onto the roof. And that's the ambition with this. So that's why we work very hard to ensure the dimension is still within the acceptable limits for a residential application and we worked on that efficiency. So as you can see, it's a, it's a big jump from our previous product to this one, but now we're able to achieve 22.6% and that too with an all black product. Excellent, and, and with these ratings, I, I presume that the power output would be so high and you know, one of the limitations for a long time has been specifically with microinverter technology and possibly what we're able to offer as far as an end phase product paired with the REC module. So, um, is there some exciting news that you would like to unveil as far as what we might not now be able to offer in partnership with Enphase for this module? Yeah. So I'm very, I announced it yesterday and I'm very happy to repeat it again. So we've been working with Enphase for a while and uh, they're going to launch a new product that they call IQ8X, uh, which is fully compatible with the voltage of this panel, which is about 65 volts. So this makes this completely uh, compatible with all residential applications. That's really exciting news and, and certainly a, a, a panel that we're super excited to, you know, eventually have in our inventory and be able to offer to our customers. And, you know, for a long time with the REC, you know, the things that have attracted the customers towards this product are smaller things such as the temperature coefficient and the efficiency of the module itself. What is this panel able to offer as far as the efficiency is concerned, maybe the temperature coefficient and the other power ratings that homeowners look at when evaluating panels on the market? Yeah. So the RX is also based on heterojunction cells, uh, which have the best temperature coefficients among all the technologies. So the power temperature coefficient of this is the lowest that you can get at about minus 0.24 percentage per degree centigrade. So that promises the high energy yield. The module efficiency, I already pointed out, is 22.6%, making it one of the highest module efficiencies for this form factor that you can get. And that too in a black color. That's really exciting news to hear. And, and with the temperature coefficient in specific, I know that's you know a phrase that sometimes gets thrown around. You know, what might be the benefit of a homeowner per se that lives in Southern California, Arizona, Texas, or even markets such as Florida? You know, when they hear this, when they hear this phrase, temperature coefficient, when we're looking at modules. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Savant Power and the Savant Energy Management System. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus storage system, then you're going to want to have maximum visibility and control of how much energy you're harvesting 
how much energy you're storing, and how that energy is being distributed within the home. The new Savant power system allows you to dynamically control which circuits are on and which circuits are off depending on battery state of charge, allowing you to extend your battery running time during a blackout. The system also includes an integrated electric vehicle charger allowing you to charge directly from solar or from the grid or a combination of both. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can visit the Savant Power website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. So what happens is that solar cells, they, their performance starts to degrade as the temperature increases more and more. And that degradation is captured in the form of temperature coefficient. So the larger the temperature coefficient, the bigger the, the drop in the power. So for example, if you bought a 100 watt panel and you multiplied it with the temperature coefficient, the, the number that you get is the one that you have to subtract from the 100, 100 watt in the beginning. So the lower the temperature coefficient means the more amount of power generation you will have at the temperature, uh, at a particular temperature compared to any other competing technology. And that's the advantage brought by this panel. So to all the viewers out there who might live in markets such as Arizona, Texas, other markets which extreme, experience very high temperatures, especially in seasons such as summer, you know, where a large part of the solar production is going to come from, you know, certainly a panel that we want to look at. But you know, another thing that I want to touch on when looking at this module is the warranties that we're able to offer, not only the linear power warranty, but maybe some other power warranties that we have. So you know, what current warranties does this panel offer and, and what can owners expect to see? So, we've done a lot of testing on our product during the last years when we started the Alpha series. And with the performance that we saw, we offered it one of the best warranties that you can get in the market. So we, we offer a warranty which has 2% degradation for the year one and subsequent degradation of 0.25% per year leading to a performance of 92% of the rated power in year 25. That's really exciting news to hear. And, and again, I know that we kind of got into the ratings right away and started talking about individual metrics that we might be looking at, but you know, what can kind of homeowner that's maybe you know, first looking into solar uh, know about the REC brand? What, what could you tell us about REC as a whole? You know, because you know, at the end of the day, buying solar is a large investment. It's a 25 to 50 year investment. So, you know, what can a homeowner expect when investing into REC as a brand? So we've been in this industry for 25 years and we've been through the entire value chain starting from polysilicon all the way to the final product, the modules. And over these 27 years, we've been focused on technology development and that, that's our DNA, to focus on new innovations all the time. And we, have, we keep very high focus and very high emphasis on high quality products, which is what we're known for, which is why we also have one of the lowest claims rate in the industry. Well, that's great news to hear. And, and, and last question for you, I know that we got this panel behind us and behind the panel, which the viewers can't see, is the new Enphase microinverter attached to the panel. You know, when might a prospective homeowner who's looking into going solar, you know, be able to possibly receive an estimate for a panel like this? Obviously, we're not only working with REC, but we're working in, in conjunction with Enphase. So, you know, with the limited information that you may know, what can you tell potential homeowners out there? So we're planning to launch this product, uh, start manufacturing this product towards the end of this year. So the product should enter uh, United States in the first, first quarter of next year. Uh, and we have a similar timeline with Enphase also. They're also going to start manufacturing towards the end of this year. Well, again, guys, today what we talked about is the new REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt module. Sean Carr, thanks for meeting with us. Thank you. And again, to all the viewers, today we're at the REC Plus, or excuse me, RE Plus convention in Las Vegas. And make sure to check out the other videos, which we're going to come out with soon with REC to talk about some cool products that are out there. See you guys. All right. I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. 
Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.